From many of those who live in absolute energy poverty, they demand to have a better life. In Africa, a woman spends up to four hours per day to collect the wood and bring it back for cooking. Every year, half a million women die prematurely because of the respiratory diseases caused by primitive cooking. If we don't tackle clean cooking, then we cannot tackle climate change. Rapid cuts in methane emissions from the fossil fuels industry. This is greater than taking away all cars and trucks off the road. The transition to a clean energy future is not just an environmental imperative, it is also an economic and social imperative as well. Our energy transition should never come at the expense of equity and justice.